Arnold Shu. Welcome. What up, Doc? Good. Well, I'm back. Good to see you back, back man. We're going to talk today. Today is the anabolic Doc versus the Trun Emperor. I'm Dr. Thomas O'Connor, a lifelong powerlifter, board certified physician, and published academic author. I've taken care of thousands of men on testosterone and steroids, and now I use my media appearances on this YouTube channel to provide education and harm reduction. Subscribe now so I can help you stay strong and healthy. Trimper is here. Everything and anything. Let's do it. All right. So this is harm reduction, guys. I'm the old gnarly guy, almost 60 years old, started steroids, <laughs> kind of like him in my 20s and on and off. And life was different back then. And with the grace of God and some harm reduction, some good medications for the blood pressure and the heart and the kidneys, I'm still walking around and I'm benching big. Now, Arnold, how old yep. are you? Let's, let's, let's dive into this because everyone wants to know. I see you as my attache, one of my attache, one of my one of my associates, if you will, in social media that represent the young guys, right? Because you have a big following. So yes, sir. how old are you? I am currently 21 years old. Wow. When did you start steroids? So I started at 19. Wow. Um, not a full cycle, to be completely clear. I didn't run a cycle when I was 19. I had lower testosterone, and I actually got prescribed testosterone when I was 19. Really? Yeah. So I didn't even go underground. Everyone every, everyone thinks that, oh, like, 19 years old, you probably got it from, like, a local guy. Well, dealer, I actually did it. How did you? The, 19 years hold old. Hold on. What? How does, <laughs> how does a healthy 19-year-old man have low T? <sighs> um, so I competed three times as a natural before I ever hopped on anything, I was going through puberty, obviously. And I believe that when I was still going through puberty, dieting for so long and being low body fat and not consuming enough wow. nutrients really taxed my body. Wow. Um, since I did it three separate times and it was within the span of from 18 to 19, a full year, I did it. I mean, just turned 18, did a show. And then on, on, on to 19, did rounds of blood work throughout. And afterwards, I mean, I was at 300 tests. Um, that's where, because I took, you know, obviously, you know, this Clomid, ACG, there's things out there that could help you. Before I hopped on test, I tried those methods. They brought it up a little bit and just went back down to where it was. Um, so it was 300. And since I love bodybuilding, and it's something that I've always wanted to do. I had to take a risk, had to do something, do it, sacrifice wow. for something that I love so much, right? I was like, you know what? 300 tests is not optimal for muscle growth. I need to take that next step. So then I went to a clinic. Um, uh, it's an online clinic. I was like, hey, this is my blood work. Am I qualified to have a certain dose of testosterone? They, they were like, yes, you actually qualify 300 tests for your age is actually not normal. I got on test, bam, kicked it off. That's how I wow. first got onto doing steroids. Technically doctors prescribed, so yeah. Now, so bring us from there. I mean, you have an incredible physique and you're competing again in a few weeks, right? Yes, sir. Competing again in a few weeks. I'm very excited, three weeks to be exact. Uh, yeah, just putting my head down. I mean, grinding every single day. Um, getting there, almost there. Tell us this, pros versus cons. You're a young guy. Tell us all the good things about steroids. I don't know. Okay. I mean, do, are there that? This is going to sound like I, I'm glorifying steroids, but I'm not, guys. I am literally telling you guys the truth when it comes to taking stuff. Do not think that I'm glorifying it because steroids are fucking awesome in its own ways all right it's just like any other drug so steroids if you want to say include all of them first of all your confidence skyrockets you know a lot of guys don't have enough confidence for i guess talking to people talking to women etc 
Sarah always completely fixed that for me. I have no problem really? socializing. Wow. I, I have no problem socializing. Wow. I have no problem talking to a woman. Um, and I think it changed your pheromones as well. So the ladies, I'm not going to lie. The ladies love it. Um, I smell good most of the time, apparently, wow. from from the shit I'm taking. Um, and this is not to say I'm a womanizer. This is just saying, like, I just noticed this from my own experience. But, but, but that, before, like, I mean, you're so young. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm not going to get crazy. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. But it's go like, ahead. You're a young guy. You're a handsome guy, but you're, but you're a whole different guy because of the androgens. But you, you, I, yeah. you don't, but you really don't have any experience being, you know, it's kind of like there's two worlds, right? You have the twin, you know, here's Arnold and the twin that's not, you know, that it's on no steroids and, Hey twin, how you in another world somewhere, another you know planet like the parallel universe? Mm. Like, how's how you doing? You know, with the girls, man. Like, you don't need to be on gear and jack like you and like kind of like your back. Your mural in the background is like these incredible, like, you know, the, these images of these warriors and which I respect. I this is what young young boys are looking at with the toys and the marketing. Right, the Marvel marketing and Hollywood, you know, not yeah. saying anyone's to blame specifically, but it, the Rock and all. Let's come on. You, you were you shy or something? Pathologically shy with yourself, with people, women. I think. See, the thing with that is, it just enhances that aspect of you. Okay. Because I did have problems. Like, I guess I could socialize before when I was natural, but I feel like it just enhanced that. Like, okay, like I can get out of my shell and I can be myself around other people. Okay. Because before I was a little more um, to myself and low energy. Then after that, I developed, you know, I have more energy now, obviously from the only if TRT will do that to you, obviously, if you have low test. And I had more energy, I had more confidence all of a sudden. And I was like, okay, this is actually pretty cool stuff. It actually does its job you know testosterone has a lot of downsides obviously uh, medically but one of the its job is regulating mood right? right so that really picked up after um and i would say obviously bodybuilding aspect i put on a good amount of size a good amount of mass uh, so pros i would say is um most of the time uh, a better mood uh better sex drive uh better Better gains in the gym, you see more progress, your muscles are fuller, uh, you know, more nutrients being shuttled in the muscle. Uh, you know, those are some of the, obviously, the pros. But to move on to the cons, I would say, you know, you are having to um, inject yourself every other day, or twice a week or whatever. That is sometimes an inconvenience for people because you have to bring that with you everywhere you go now. To me, I'm used to it. Yeah. Whenever I travel, you know, I bring my little kit, you know, my med medical bag, I have it in there. It's fine. You can travel with it, but it can cause that, you know, minor inconvenience for people. And also you have now have to control your estrogen. Your body is not regulating itself because you're putting super physiological amounts of androgens within your body. If it's testosterone, obviously AIs like Aromadex, Aromacin, now have to take that. I don't know how many times a week, you know, personal dependent. Now I have to take other medications to supplement, to battle against the estrogen, the prolactin, whatever it is that you're running. And then also health supplements. And you know all about this doc, right? You're, you're probably also, you've taken copious amounts of vitamins and whatnot. You got to take a whole list of things to keep your body healthy while being on it. So it's actually... I think running androgens in general bodybuilding is a rich man sport. Wow. Honestly, if you right. want to do this the most right. most healthy way, you got to have money to it's do this. Shit. You better pay it. You can't just wing it and just you got to do you got to know your ABCDs. You got to be on exactly. my app, the testosterone. You got to have a testosterone Again, it's not a lot of young guys back in the day. They would just wing it. And they're young, so they have health reserves. So let me ask you this. Let's go back to the mood. 
Now, and tell us, can you tell us what a typical, like when you're off cycle and you're on test, like what kind of testosterone for everyone who, for the young guys that really, we need to focus and, and give education to the young guys. So this is wide open and real because you're a young guy and I'm going to do the talk in the end, but it's the same talk. It's like, guys, you know, he's shut down. He has great hair, but that's for today, right? Because you have good genetics, right? Yes. Your hair is, have you lost any hair? Ever since I got on, it's only grown thicker. Wow. So, but that, but that's unusual, right? And you, you're super young, right? Yeah. Okay. So, My hair genetics is just great, right, I guess. Right. You, you just have, some guys have, some guys are getting out of high school and they're balding already. Right. You, you, and, then, right. and then you take test or trend. So let, tell us about the drugs. Can you tell us your whole history and bring us up to date on the drugs? Right. So TRT uh, for about two, one and a half years, just TRT, nothing else because I didn't, I was scared, obviously. Um, I was like, I didn't want to venture out. And then obviously did my second show or no, 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 did my show on my first cycle. So that'd be my fourth show. Fourth show was enhanced now. And we just kind of did nothing crazy. I think I already covered this on our last YouTube yeah. video. So if you guys want to know my last stack, right. go check it out in our last YouTube video that we did. Um, but, you know, now up to date to this day, this is where we've basically said we've had a we've had a little, you know, warm up last prep. We gave your body a little bit of something. It worked great. Let's kick it up a notch. Let's try to see what we can do with a more, even more like an even bigger stack. Right. So this time, last time we didn't have any trend in there. This time we added the trend, obviously. So we have test P, mass P, trend, um, ACE. Can you give doses? Then, Can you give doses? Yeah, if you guys want. So please do not copy this shit at home, guys. Right. Do not copy my, my dose. This is given to me by my coach and is monitored by a healthcare professional. So do not, if you don't blindly right. copy this, I'll give you guys a dose. I know you guys want this shit. I'll give it to you. Don't copy it. Uh, first, obviously, um, test, right? Test P. And this is daily pinned. So this would be about 25 milligram every day. Yeah, every single day. Because we were three weeks out. We're cutting back the test. Less aromatization. There's no reason for me to be on higher testosterone. And then mass P, we have about 75 milligrams every day. And then trend ACE, we have about 50 milligrams every single day. Wow. So those are the injectables. So every single day wow. in that it is quite the routine because personally, every single day is fucking crazy. How is your, but how is your, how is your mood right? How you never have any mood. Come on, Arnold. N no moodiness. See, here's the thing. I have moodiness. Uh, once you on anything, even testosterone, you will have right. The cons, you, you you have better mood, but sometimes you're more prone to mood swings, more aggressive. Right. That is the fucking trick. And it right? depends on I who am, you are underneath right. and the situation. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So um, so that those are all the injectables. So wing straw, obviously, we've we've thrown that in. And then on the last um, couple oral, of weeks, we're also gonna wing do straw is oral. Yeah, oral. Yeah. I yeah, injectable wing straw. I don't know about that. It's gonna hurt. Mm. But um, you know, also we're going to throw in halo test, um, start that as well. So those are all the list of, um, wow. I guess anabolics that is, um, within the list right now. Wow. Um, it, I mean, mood wise, you know, um, because I'm on prep low energy, so I don't think it's, it attributes that much to like aggressiveness or like I'm mood swings because I don't have enough energy oh, to be, Wait, I don't have enough wow. energy to be a dick or a douche. I, I'm, I just go to the gym. I sit at home, you know, relax. I edit videos. Uh, I make music now too. So I just do some music, do all that. And then go to the gym. That's when it kicks on. That's when the aggression and that wow. mood and focus kicks on for me. That's when the androgens work wow. is in the gym. I take us my pre-workout. So you don't, gym, so you me. don't, it's so fascinating for people to hear this. This is guys, this is very, this is just something yes. 
I can't tell you how valuable this is because this man, this is telling that he's telling us the truth. This is un, you know beyond all the other bullshit people out there selling you fucking this and all this garbage. This guy and I am you know my heart is kind of breaking, but I, we did it back in the day. Just it wasn't. It wasn't that much bullshit. We did the same shit yeah. back in the day, more or less, and guys got shut down. And you're just you're we're, we're all gamblers, right? You're a gamble. You're a gambler. It's a risk. You're gambling. It's a risk and you got to take. If, yeah. So you you you're doing that. And number one is you know you're shut down. Probably going to be forever. You're never going to come off testosterone. I'm never coming off, and I've made that decision to never come off. Right. Uh, because I've come off once um, off of TRT for a while. I felt like shit, took HCG and clomiphene. My mood was shit all the time, even though I was on those. And estrogen was way out of whack because from the HCG, I mean, I was not taking them that much, maybe like 500, two to three times a week. And I was just swole, like I was swollen like a fucking water buffalo. So l let me just say this, though. So as we move through this to educate guys, yeah. so you know that if you're so young, your body is so resistant and so resilient, you have so much health reserve that if yeah. you did want to come off with or without PCT regimens yeah. of HCG and clomiphene and tamoxifen and AIs, I get it. We've, we've been doing this for decades. You, you you would potentially have to wait for a year or more, and it is possible that you may never, ever, ever come back, even though you're young. Be, this is where every man I want, every young man who's a teenager, and I, I'm I'm a dad, you know, but I'm going to be just an uh, just an just a, a human right now, an older man who's been around and did steroids. If you could look at this man that I respect so much in front of us, his energy and what he's doing for his openness, and he's taking risks, right? And he's not only taking risks with his health, he's, he's got balls to be here. How many guys will be on the Anabolic Doc show in front of exactly. millions of motherfuckers? So you're doing it, and I've known you, and you're going to be our attache of the truth. This is This is the truth. So... And we're telling it like it is. Do you do you ever get scared? I definitely do. What do you get? Sometimes I think about it. I'm like, hey, like, you know, in my most vulnerable of moments right. in myself, I'm like, is this is this worth is this worth it? Is this worth right. the risk you're taking to do this? Right? You know, I love my family. Shout out to my mom. Um, shout out to everybody out there. You know, I love them, and it's like. Is it worth the risk? I ask myself that. But to me, it is worth the risk because I could be, in, I'm in college, could be partying, drinking away, right? That's drinking away, doing cocaine, doing Molly. That's Guess what, though? <laughs> oh. Guess what, guys? Alcohol fucks your testosterone, fucks your true. fertility, fucks your brain up bad. It's true. If I was out there drinking every weekend, doing cocaine, doing Molly, Probably end up the same way when I get out of college. The same. I would. I was running a fucking. Cycle. Well, who knows? Well, it's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good point because the amount of. I mean, come on. Like, I agree. You know, when you're at a college party, how much are you drinking? You're not just taking a glass of wine. You're fucking. Kids, oh, you know, you're taking it over down the top, the over the, you know, the, the old over the animal top. house shit from the seventies. Exactly. Right. So I would rather. I would rather be jacked and handsome and putting a little risk in there then you know shut down low energy lethargic wow. have a slow ass brain and putting a little risk okay. out next, there so next, i'm taking the other side next question you got a girl you got, <laughs> next question the romantic romantic life sex the cock the girls you come on i see you with a lot of girls Come on. Oh, what? Lord. Tell us the truth. Okay. Um, so I don't, I don't have a girlfriend right now. Um, I think it's it, ju it just goes through its phases, low key. So <laughs> I know, you know, Doc has known me. He's seen all the stuff I've, you know, I do. And I am not a bad looking guy. 
I am handsome and jacked, and it comes with its perks, like <laughs> I told you guys. It comes with its perks. So, like, yeah, like, oh. I, I used to. I'll say I used to because I used to just, you know, go around, like, I get a lot of women, and it's easy to talk to them, and then whatever. But that gets old, guys, right? Just getting female attention and going around is is honestly what not not what I stand for anymore. I've come to the realization, guys. I love this. <laughs> I've come to the realization that now, since where I'm at in my career, I actually need a strong woman that is capable of actually helping me grow in my business and as a man. I think everyone goes through, like, as a young man, everyone goes through a phase. For you guys that are young that's watching this, you know, or people that are old, you can probably testify or, you know, for this. You go through this phase of just messing around, right? Everybody goes through that. You, you experiment and you find what you like. And then you come to a point where you're like, shit, this is boring. I actually need to stop and find myself a real woman to settle down with. This is where this is kind of where I've hmm. where I've come to be. I'm young. I know I'm really young, but it's like I've already had a lot of great experiences out there. Wow. I'm ready to just have a long-term girlfriend now. So that's actually what I'm looking for now. Wow. Is I'm looking for like a wife. Like I'm I'm looking for that right now. Um, even though I have hella androgens running through me right now, it actually doesn't change that. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah. Any women in your life that I'm sure there's two different kind of girls out there, the girls in the industry and girls not in the industry, mm. not knowing. So you've probably had both, right? Girls that are on gear or in the in the world of gear or in the world of our our world, or and then there's yes. girls that are completely like, what the actual Dis yeah disconnected. So from this. what about the experience of the girls that are not in the world? Mm. Do they have you? Great question. Have you told them the truth? Do they know what's up? Guys, every single girl I have talked to, they I, they know up front that I'm enhanced. I tell them up wow. front. I mean, I invite them over. Uh, we eat some dinner, cook some dinner, whatever. We maybe watch a movie. You literally see, like, you walk into my room. I'm not going to give you guys a room tour. You walk into my room. You just see a bunch of research chemicals see a bunch of you know trt prescription bottles sitting there i mean i don't even need to tell them anymore they're looking at it for themselves when they walk in they're like wow what is this tadalafil what is this uh testosterone sipionate what is this i'm like well this is what i'd be taking so wow. <laughs> like wow. i don't hide i don't hide that shit because it's my life you know this is the life that i signed up for whoever that's coming into my life that could be potentially my partner. They need to know up front. First day. First date. First wow. day. I don't care. Um, so yeah. are most A lot of men, for obvious reasons, will, even married men, will hide it, you know, from their significant other. I mean, just nature of the, I mean, it's, it's sooner or later it comes out, obviously, if you're, if exactly. you're married. But guys who are guys, you know, guys, uh, some men are very, um, you know, very, very quiet and they just, they're just very low key and they're just, you're obviously out there and that's why we're sharing so much. All right, let's wrap up with this because it can go on. It's just incredible, you know, that you're telling us all this, which is men need to know this, young guys, you, you're going to be on testosterone most likely forever. There's, there's going to be health consequences, hair, you know, the skin, you're getting, you have a little acne, right? So how does that what bother you, the acne? I mean, I mean, it's not bad because whenever my estrogen's in control, it's really not that bad. Like my skin right now, yeah, it's not. It's not really breaking out a lot. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. Um, and on my chest, like I actually have none. There was a video a while back that went viral. That was like me with a bunch of acne. Right. That was actually because I didn't have any AIs implemented uh, right. within that. But we got to be careful with the AIs, yeah. even though you're so young. Have you? What is your? What is your? Let's go into the labs. What? And you're so young, the labs are always going to look great. Essentially, when you certainly when you get off because it bounces back. But is your your cholesterol and your heart disease risk factors with your dad, your mom? Is everything okay in that end? Yeah, I've gotten DNA tests before. I, heart disease was never a thing in my family, so that's good. 
but I mean, my labs come back perfect most of the time. Now I haven't gotten one recently, obviously, because I'm on prep three weeks out, but most of the time from everything that I'm taking, uh, my cholesterol ratio looks pretty good. The HDL sometimes goes on the lower end or not lower end, but like just a little bit below. But I mean, I'm supplementing, you know, fish oil, a lot of other things, a citrus bergamot, uh, you know, right. to counteract that and raise it. Right. And we so know there's, it looks good. Uh, and there's no data really for that, but I know everyone's trying the best they can, you know, to stay healthy. And the most important thing is you're young and we hope there's, there's nothing hidden that is going to, you know, rear its head and you're so young and the heart disease, the kidney disease, this stuff takes a long time typically, you know, but there are men in their late twenties, obviously, and, you know, that have seen things and forget about the vaccine guys. I, I agree with you guys. I know the vaccine has implications and, you know, oh, I mean, I, I think I'm safe. We won't get shut down for, for me saying that, but there's consequences on everything, but you know, I want you guys to take a broad perspective. So let's close on this. We'll do more yep. videos together. You know, I just want guys to understand the risks. The young guys are not, there's a lot of, you know, some young guys are crazy anyway. And then they, you know, they, they have a higher drive for taking risks. That's why if you look for the death for men that are 18 to 25, it's trauma. Because they're on the, without steroids, they're jumping into water holes from 60 feet. They're driving fast cars. They're driving motorcycles. Some women are too. We know the girls do it too. And, but men take risks. And then when you put it on androgens, you put that risk taking behavior on steroids. We, we all know that. And this is what a lot of men that we're seeing and men, and certainly when I was young, it's very difficult to, to look in the future. You just don't young men and you're getting older, but you're still, you're still a young man you know, in the, in the life of, if you're going to live to hopefully 90 or a hundred or God knows with technology, even more, if we can believe it. And, but I want you to stay protected and I'd like you to, I know you got your show ahead of you and I, I know it's a great feeling. And it's a high and I've done it for powerlifting anyway, but it's like, as soon as I could get you just to stay on TRT and rock on and take care of your ABCDs, be more it's going to be more optimal that you're going to live a long great life right. with no consequences again it, it's health reserve is a very interesting concept that you have this much health reserve you know when you're when you're young and then you're just just by aging every day by waking up and breathing and just oxygen being processing and inflammation and genetics and stress and poisoning and diet and alcohol and drug, you're, we're all slowly after you're born heading towards death. I'm very much into right. Zen, right? I'm into the Zen stuff now. And it, it, it's, it's like quality of life is everything, guys. And sure. some of these things you mentioned are, are game changers because there are some men that are suffering with emotional issues and not to mention depression and abuse neglect in the world and you and I are open and here you are yes you know and you're, you're not bullshit you're not mitigating and hey guys take this there's always going to be a way to take this and take that it's going to block this block that no you're 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 of course doing these things on the acute basis you know and and the information's coming in it's kind of interesting the information is just kind of out there among you know th th this industry the bro science guys and, and, yeah. and evolving doctors. I understand that. I understand it. You know that, but where are we going to be a hundred years from now? Are all men, how many percent proportion of men in the next 20 years at the age of 19, 20, 25 are going to be on androgens more, more and more. It's 14 now. I mean, dude, I, I there's mean, a kid that's on, I, on, on video. I mean, YouTube video. I mean, he, he, uh, hopped on when he's 14 taking trend. I mean, I mean, fuck. you have to say uh, you got you have to admit there there. You know, we used to say, you know, guys like me and Ron Harris back in the day, what age do you start steroids? 23, 25. But that's like a pipe dream now. Right. That's like a pipe dream. It's like. I don't know. Even I, 
even me, I mean, you know, I'm not the type of guy that's like, I'm a role model. I want you to do what I do. Um, I'm just showing you my authentic self. Right. This is what the fuck I love doing. But even for me, that's, you know, could get a little crazy, get a little wild. I mean, guys, 14, like, fuck. I don't know. You're not even an adult yet. Maybe become, after 18, when you're an adult, maybe that's, you know, right. you can make your own decisions. But 14 years old. Right. We got to keep, we got to, we don't know. That, yeah. Up. Even I, you know, even 18 and 19, you're still really physically developing. I don't, right. I don't think anyone really, really knows this. Even the orthopedic experts and this and that and physiologic, you know, you know, pediatric, embryologic, you know, all these different experts about 21, 22, the bones are really kind of, you know, and 23, maybe even, you know, with growth hormone and all this. So, you know, not right. and naturally. So, but, but then again, if you're taking steroids, when you're, you know, when you're extending your bones, when you're 11, 12, you know, 12, 13, 15, 16, you know, that's where it causes the potential short stature, you know, cause your epiphyseal long plates are going to be fused <clears throat> from the steroids. And you're a tall man. You didn't do that until you were 19, 20. And you, even you, like you're just TRT guy. And now you're doing, you're blasting and cruising kind of guy, you know? So, all right, this is, this is a great, thank you so much. You know, I want people to see the truth and, and um, just to make their own decisions, but I want to protect young guys. Don't do it guys. This is his life. He's taking risks and this is what the world's going to be. Yeah. This is my life. You know, I'll end up, I'll end off on this for you guys. Right. You know, I've known Doc for a while. He's, you know, he's been doing this for a minute now. You know, he knows what it is. He's, he's experienced it himself. The androgens, the life, being young, whatever, right? My motto is that, you know, would I rather end up in a coffin um, at 100 years old, skinny, depressed, and absolutely left no legacy in this world? Or would I rather maybe go when I'm 75, or 80 and I've left a legacy and I'm still jacked and I, I was fucking happy. That's right. right. That's, that's, right. that's, that's what I want. I want to leave that legacy out there. I want to die as a jack motherfucker. And obviously I'm taking these risks, but that's where people like, you know, anabolic doc comes into play. You know, we're, we're close friends and obviously we're going to be using the testosterone app and he's going to be helping me with my blood work to take care of my A, B and C's. That's where that comes into play. Right. I'm taking my necessary risk that I deem is worth it. And that's where a guy like him helps young guys like me to put it all together to say, this is how you, we can get you do this the safest way possible. And make sure when you're off after this amount of time, get you back on the right track. You know, have a happy life with your wife. Happy life. Kids, Hopefully, chill, whatever. But there's no, That's, there's no, there's nothing right. I can do. There's no miracles here. You, no, no right? guarantees here, but try. We're just, just here that, to, yeah. to make decisions for you, for young guys. Do it or don't do it, and and try not to do it, and wait as long as you can, and know that as soon as you do it, it it's going to be you're going to mature fast, and you're going to have some downtime. There's going to be some downtime for you, and there's there's no free lunch. It's very zen. There's energies in the world and it, you're going to do something and there's going to be a disruption. You know, when you throw that pebble into the water, there's going to be ripple effect. There's going to be an effect. But again, yeah. like everything else, you need to balance it in your mind. And then you come on to the point of, are you the, the finger pointers that will come? Guys, make your comments. Any adverse comments will be criticized because we're not we're here for openness we need to hear this. This is the truth of what's happening out there. And, you know, don't just blast this guy. Don't fucking do it, kid. You're like, like, we're not doing that. That's not going to work. That makes young guys say, fuck you. I'm going to do it more, dad. So, but, 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 but no, no, because I am a dad. So you need to, exactly. you need to see yourself and you're, you're a man now. You're 21. Yeah. Like you can go to war. You can kill. Okay. Oh, yeah. you, you you killed someone today, you're going to be tried as an adult, okay? You're not sure. 14, 17, 18, 19, you know, all these decisions. Well, they're children, the brain's not developed and all that. And then, you know, we're not going to go into transgender, you know, for letting young kids 
make decisions on this that are truly children. But clearly, there's a spectrum somewhere where a lot of people believe that younger people, even kids, have some rights to do what they want to do. So if we're going to eat that pill, if we're taking that pill in this community, in our society, in our culture, we need to see this side of it too. Yep. Thank you so much, Arnold. This is a great video, dude. Yes, sir. Great interview, brother. I hope to do many, many more with you. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so Peace much. Peace out, man. guys.